Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone Challenge tutorial video. Now this video folks is a special one, as the challenge I'm about to show is the one challenge that I have never been able to come up with a solid run route for that guarantees a gold score every time, until now. Yes folks, I will show just how easy the Ambush Camp Rush Challenge now is as I now have a solid run route that gets the gold score every time. Now, my run route does give you a lot of freedom to take out the Marauders in ways that are easiest to yourself, but as long as you follow my route and do certain things at certain times, the gold score is pretty much a done deal. Now, before I start showing the run, I'm actually going to bring a map up on screen and I'm quickly going to run through nine areas where specific things need to be done. Right folks, as you can see here is a map of the ambush camp that I am about to take on and I also have nine areas marked on this route. Each of these areas requires you to be doing something very specific and I really wanted to take the time to explain these now before starting the runs because when I do start the runs they go quite quickly and there is a lot of information I really want to convey to everybody. I may not have time to get everything in if I'm trying to do it throughout the course of the run, hence I want to do it at this point here. So we will start with area one. Now in order to get to area one you simply need to be looking and running to your left right from the very start of this challenge. Basically pick up every item in this area with the exception of the melee weapon. You'll know when you have every item picked up because your multiplier will be sitting at 10 at this point. And from area 1 to area 2, use this time to craft two Molotovs and also two proximity bombs, as well as looting one tree um, en route to area 2. Right, area 2 is where the action all starts, folks, and you need to make sure that you're armed with a residue bolt at this point, because you are going to be hitting the big armoured guy that is walking towards you. Once you have done this, you then need to arm yourself with the Molotovs and then take out the two nearest Marauders to you. After this, arm yourself with a grenade and take out the third Marauder that is in this area before moving on to Area 3. En route to Area 3, however, there are also three other items that you want to be picking up. Now, once you reach Area 3, folks, you will come across another Marauder that is wearing a big helmet and has a lot of armour up top. You want to be hitting this Marauder also with a residue bolt, just making sure you catch one of his legs. And from here, make your way to Area Number 4. Now, Area Number 4, as I'm sure most of you will know, is where the, the best melee weapon on this challenge is uh, located, and that is the Superior Metal Axe. Once you have this, you start heading back to the walkway that you just came from, and start heading towards Area 5. Right folks, Area 5 contains a truck that you want to loot all the items from. After doing this, you want to make your way over to area number 6. Uh, while doing this, you want to be passing through this building. There are 5 items inside that you want to be picking up. And from there, you want to be climbing up onto the roof of this barn, collecting all the items on the way while climbing. You will eventually run across the roof, and then you will pick up the BFG that is at the very end of this roof section. Right folks, from area number 6 you want to be making your way over to area number 7. And I can't stress enough folks, at this point in time you really want to be making sure if there are still any marauders in this particular section of the map that you start to clear them out now on route to area number 7. Once you reach area number 7, there are quite a number of items that you can pick up from there. This just basically ensures that your multiplier is still going strong because the higher the multiplier, the more points you are getting for all of your kills. Okay folks, area number 8 is also quite significant as it also has a great number of items that you can basically pick up, which will increase your multiplier and of course increase your score. I usually like to use the time between areas 7 and 8 to try and take out the sniper with the BFG rifle that I now have. 
And moving on finally from area 8 to area number 9, it's just a case of clearing out the last of the marauders. Uh, I usually like to try and take them out with a melee weapon because it does score a bit higher than the, than the guns. But if you still have bullets in your BFG, use them as well. I also make a point usually, not always, but usually, of having a grenade ready because I'll launch it into the area of uh, number 9 and basically will take care of quite a number of the marauders that are uh, encamped up there. Whoever's left, it's usually just a nice, easy, quick, tidy up job from there. And that is basically it, folks. That is the nine main points of this run. Obviously, there is a lot of killing to be done in between, and there is some more important information that I am going to re relay to you all throughout the course of the runs that I'm going to show. Right then, folks, this is the first of three runs that I am about to show, and I'm going to start with this particular run because this one involves the use of no rings whatsoever and no patch advantages whatsoever. I simply want to show this run just to prove how rock solid this run route is that I have come up with. It really is, folks. You do not require anything in order to do this, but obviously I would recommend to anyone that who is attempting this challenge to be using rings. And ideally, when I do show the other two runs, I will be using the bullets and the joker rings. Okay folks, straight from the off, turning to the left as I mentioned earlier, you want to be picking up every item here. You should get the multiplier up to 9 and then the plant over here will make it 10. From here uh, you're looking to uh, craft 2 proximity bombs and 2 molotovs. And then there is a tree further up that you want to loot, basically to get your multiplier up further. Now from here, this next part, very important. Arm yourself with a residue bolt. When you go in the camp, run to this particular distance from the sky. Aim for the upper left thigh. If you do that every time, you will get that guy with a residue bolt every time, first time. From here, two Molotovs on the two nearest Marauders. Then I've got one grenade. I use it for that third Marauder over there. Pick up the three items and then I'm moving over to the next section. Right folks, I've paused the video at this point because there is some hugely important information that I must pass on to you before you go any further on this particular challenge. And it mainly concerns these two sub-challenges here, Crafty and Berserk. Now, the Crafty sub-challenge is basically all your kills that you have through use of your Molotovs, grenades, pipe bombs, basically all your throwables and mines. The Berserk sub-challenge is basically all the kills that are accrued through the Marauders who are under the influence of the Residue Bolts. Now, the reason why these two have been highlighted is this. Over the course of the entire run, you must have at least three kills in one of these sub-challenges and seven kills on the other. Now, it doesn't matter which of the sub-challenges you have the three on or which you have the seven on as long as you fulfill that criteria for both of these sub-challenges. So at the moment, folks, as you can see, I already have three kills on the crafty side. If the two guys that are under the influence of the residue bolts at the moment happen to give me another five kills on Berserk, then I'm pretty good. At that point, I'm just basically looking to clear the camp as quickly as possible. And that raises me to the point of the next important piece of information. This challenge must be completed in under three and a half minutes in order to secure a gold score. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking that three and a half minutes is a bit of a tall order in order to do this challenge in. But honestly, folks, 
I am barely just over a minute into this challenge right now and I already now have the best melee weapon and this thing really is one swing, one kill stuff and very soon I am going to have the BFG which will mean I can take out Marauders from a great distance. Uh, the three and a half minutes folks honestly is really not a big deal at all. In all the runs that I have done when I've been testing out this run route I generally usually do this between two and a half minutes and three minutes. Right folks, now that all that information is out of the way, let's get back to the action. Okay, so from what I was just talking about, uh, I'm now looking to work on getting seven kills through Crafty um, and ideally get at least three through um, Berserk. And as you can already see folks here, I have five on Berserk and I've nearly got the seven kills I want on the Crafty. So I'm looking to take all the items from that truck before moving into this building here. I'm just looking to pick up those two items and then those three there. And then I'm moving on to outside because I don't want to be hanging around here too long. I'm very well aware that I am on a time limit here and I'm now looking to get the BFG. And already I am now in a fantastic position. I've basically met the criteria for both Berserk and Tricky, so it's just basically clearing out the camp now. At this point looking to pick up a few more items, like I say it does no harm if you're keeping the, the multiplier going, it just means that you're getting more points for all your kills. And here is another very important piece of information folks, throughout any of your runs be looking to get to that magic score of over 15,000 because once you have that all you have to think about at this point you don't even have to think about collecting any more items then all you have to think about is basically clearing out the camp because you know that if you clear out the camp in under three and a half minutes you are guaranteed 10,000 points and the gold score for the ambush camp rush challenge is 25,000 so really now it is just as easy as it gets And all the guys that I've got left are pretty much up here. Five of them. Yep, that's at least three of them gone. And just one more to finish with. Then I can really take my time here, so. And there we go, folks. That is how it is done. And that, just to remind you, was done with no rings whatsoever and no patch enhancements. Right folks, we're going to get straight onto the action with run number two. Okay folks, on to run number two, and right from the very start you will see the differences that having the rings makes. Uh, not so much with the bullets, but certainly with the Joker ring. Uh, which basically allows you to pick up items when you slide next to them. But uh, the method uh, on this run is exactly the same as before. Once again here, it doesn't matter if you have to take a long run in order to get to this armoured guy, just make sure you get to that sort of distance. Make sure it's the upper left thigh every time and you will hit him with the residue bolt every time. I usually always just crouch there because you do sometimes get that armoured guy start to go nuts with the gun, by the way, folks, just in case you're wondering. And another thing I didn't mention in the first run, if the camp gets alerted very early, don't worry about it because that sub-challenge is of no consequence when you do the run in this manner. Right folks, as you can see from this run, I'm already about 10 seconds faster than what I was in run number one. And I make a huge mistake there by not having the proximity bomb armed. However, no great disaster here. Um, I basically look to take out a few more there because I'm basically looking to work on the crafty sub-challenge. Which I have now already got six um, kills on. I only require more, one more because that's usually the one I focus on for the pure reason of the Berserk sub-challenge, you're never guaranteed that you're going to get 
the seven kills with uh, the two guys that are under the influence of the residue bolt. I've honestly, folks, had runs where they've only recorded three kills before uh, before I've lost both guys. So always try and make sure that the the crafty sub challenge is taken care of to at least seven kills, which I already have. I am now just starting to uh, enjoy myself. At this point, come up to the next section. Now, yep, again, I can just use the slide in order to get all the items, but I am looking to, and I'm very bloody lucky because I didn't see that guy until the last second, but I'm just looking to clear up all the marauders around this area so that I don't need to have to come back here looking for them. Now, I didn't do this in the first run, which I should have, but that is the sniper now taken care of. In fact, in the first run, I think I actually run out of bullets. Um, but uh, at this point now, as you can see, folks, I've still got over a minute uh, in time to get the last five Marauders. <laughs> now four. But, uh, and at this point, I just decide, right, I'll get a grenade up there, and that should take out most of them. It actually takes out all of them. <laughs> job done and as you can see on that run there uh, folks I've got pretty much 50 seconds to spare and believe it or not I have done the run quicker than that before as well but right on to the third run and this one is basically a high scoring run using the same method Okay folks, run number three and basically the same as the previous run in terms of the rings that I'm using. They are Joker and Bullets and on this run I simply want to show it as I score rather well in this even though it is done at speed. Um, it's really just to show that over the course of these three runs that my method works. I do get varying results in terms of the score, yes, but the end result is always the same and it is getting a gold score easily and honestly folks I have must have done this run now about 14-15 times in testing I've not had one run where I've not managed to get a gold score so it's just going through the motions again here I've got virtually everything in place at the moment just looking to stick this guy with a residue bolt which I've got again over here and basically once I have the superior metal axe then it's a case of just going to town with uh, the marauders and working on the two sub challenges again which are uh, crafty and berserk and as you can see at the moment um, the guys aren't actually doing a very good job for me at the moment surprisingly uh, although uh, they're, they're speeding up now now at this point I do realise that they're uh, they're doing quite a good job all of a sudden with the Berserk, so I try not to take any of them out at the moment. <laughs> at this point again, I'm just looking for the five items that are in here before moving on up here, because it really is just, uh, it is about speed to a degree, but uh, obviously I just want to keep that uh, multiplier going nicely, which I am. And although I've still got quite a bit to do in terms of getting the crafty to seven kills, I'm very aware now at this point that uh, the berserk kills are going fantastically because they've now got seven and I know at least one of them is still going strong. Right folks, at this point I'm basically just looking to clear up the camp now because I can already see that my score is 18,000. I know that with the 10,000 I'll get from uh, the bonus at the end for doing it in under three and a half minutes, it will take me well over 25. So it's really just enjoying myself a bit. And truth be told, I'm actually starting to mess around so much here. I'm lucky I don't get myself bloody killed, but that's another story. Uh, <laughs> ah, but if you can't mess about when you're uh, doing these challenges, what's the point, eh? <laughs> Yeah, like I say, at this point, folks, it's, um, I know I've still got just under a minute to go um, in terms of the time, but I know all the marauders are over this section. So the fact that I've got this fantastic melee weapon 
I've got an abundance of uh, throw balls. It really makes it um, an easy job indeed. And there we go. That is it done. And that's basically it folks. Over the three runs it's just basically to prove the ambush camp rush challenge has now well and truly been tamed. As always folks, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Take care.